What's up folks, Matt here with Texas Edge Home Inspections and I'm on another new construction property today and I want to talk to you about a concrete encased grounding electrode. Okay, so a concrete encased grounding electrode or UFER ground, it's got a, kind of a funny name. Anyway, um, this is a piece of rebar that is sent into the foundation and there's a grounding wire that is bonded or, or attached to that grounding rod and that is just one of the home's sources of ground electrical ground um, i always whenever i go to most of the time they're in the garage uh, there's like a little cover plate usually covering this and i will take it off because i want to see number one is it connected number two is it connected tightly or does it exist at all i found a handful of them that were not connected sometimes i find one loose and that's what we're dealing with today so come check this out Okay, so let me see if I can position everything so that you can see this properly. This is the U for ground, the uh, concrete encased grounding electrode. You can see the wire coming down and it's clamped to this. There's a little bit of insulation in the way, but it's clamped to this piece of rebar. It's not painted over, it looks good, but whenever I grab it, it's actually very loose. So that's not going to make a good connection. Now, once again, being that this is a new construction property, it shouldn't be a big deal to have the, uh, the builder come down here and tighten this up so that grounding uh, electrode is making a proper connection with that piece of rebar and the home is going to be properly safe and properly grounded. Okay, guys, I got a lot of inspecting to do, so I'm going to get back after it. Matt with Texas Edge Home Inspection. Hey, give me a call so I can do your next inspection. Bye. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share, and if you'd like to see more of my videos, head on over to YouTube and hit subscribe.